is some kind of a star-shaped amoeba. There's another type of amoeba up here in the top right corner. Let me see if I can get them both in here. I don't want to lose the star because I've never seen one. See this amoeba is either engulfing whatever he's got there or he's camouflaged himself or it's another star shape. It's got him some chow. Let's see if I can get some contrast here going with the uh, field diaphragm and this I'm using a Nikon Fluofot with a uh, CF10X objective lens I have a 10X uh, photo lens in the trinocular port and I'm using a Canon T1i 1.6X crop sensor camera so this is a roughly uh, I guess 200 so three about 320 power roughly I guess if I'm doing the math right which I might not be I'm doing this light adjusting here. With the uh, This is the iris on the uh, condenser, the bright field condenser, I'm trying to adjust something. Okay, now I want to bring the star, the bottom star, back into the center and get a better look at him. Under 40 power. A little focus adjustment. Get some depth in there. Okay, let's go to 40 power here for a minute. See how that looks. Add some light. doesn't take much. Let's adjust the iris here. And I'll adjust this field condenser a little bit. I mean the field diaphragm. I'm still not used to the terminology here. He's something. This is the first one of these I've ever seen. OK. 
Okay, let's go back to that 10x. I like that view better. He's quite changed the shape quite a bit. Yeah. Another different type of amoeba there at the bottom. this is I collected some moss from out in the woods and I put it in a petri dish and added some uh, crick water let it sit and this has been fermenting for I don't know, a week it has a lid on it but the lid is loose so it has space to get air in and out. <clears throat> so it's alive because it has plant matter in there. It's even growing some kind of spiky thing look like new grass coming up or something similar there's that other amoeba up there at the top Okay, let's take a break here. 